in both ways. As long as you denote the vertex C first, followed by point B or A. Also notice that the arrows on each ray are not drawn in the figure. Recall that the sides of an angle are technically formed by rays. When you name the sides of angles, we usually name them as if they were rays. Even though the ray is not explicitly drawn in the picture, we still denote them as if they were rays. In the same manner, let's locate angle 1. Angle 1 is located here, and its vertex is represented by point A. The sides of angle 1 are formed by ray AD, which can also be denoted as ray AE. The second side of the angle is formed by ray AB, which can also be denoted as ray AC. Lastly, let's locate angle 6. Angle 6 is located here, and its vertex is represented by point D. The sides of angle 6 are formed by